as it is written in Isaiah the prophet, Look, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way. You only live today once. Why do it alone? Branch together. Welcome to Branch Together. My name is Jared, and today we are finishing the book of Romans. We're going to be in Romans chapter 16. Let's take a moment and pray before we read. God, we thank you for today. Um, When morning gilds the skies, our heart awakes and cries. May Jesus Christ be praised. When evening's shadows fall, this is our lasting call. May Jesus Christ be praised. Lord, help us understand how good you are and praise you. Lord, help us understand that whether we live or whether we die, we belong to you. Lord, help us understand that there is no one who seeks you, no, not one. That all of us have turned away. And that help us understand that while we were still sinners, you died for us. Help us understand how Abraham believed in you and you credited to him as righteousness. Help us understand how you are working all things together for good to those who are called according to your purposes. Help us understand what it means that creation is groaning for new creation. Lord, help us understand that neither height nor depth nor anything in all creation can separate us from the love of your Son, Jesus Christ. Lord, help us understand what it means to be a living sacrifice. Lord, help us understand what it means to have a renewed mind. Lord, help us understand the good news that you are King and Lord. And help us understand what it means to be a people on your mission to bring about the obedience of faith. Help us learn that obedience of faith ourselves and bring others to you. Amen. Romans chapter 16. Now I commend you to our sister Phoebe, who is a servant of the church in Centria so that you may welcome her in the Lord in a way worthy of the saints and provide her with whatever help she may need from you. For she has been a great help to many, including me. Greet Prissa and Aquila, my fellow workers in Christ, who risk their own necks for my life. Not only I, but all the churches of the Gentiles are grateful to them. Also, greet the church in their house. Greet my dear friend Epinatus who was the first convert to Christ in the province of Asia. Greet Mary, who has worked very hard for you. Greet Andronicus and Junia, my compatriots, and my fellow prisoners. They are well known to the apostles, and they were in Christ before me. Greet Ampliatus, my dear friend in the Lord. Greet Urbanus, our fellow worker in Christ, and my good friend Stachys. Greet Apelles, who was approved in Christ. Greet those who belong to the house of Aristobulus. Greet Herodion, my compatriot. Greet those in the house of Narcissus, who are in the Lord. Greet Tryphena and Tryphosa, laborers in the Lord. Greet my dear friend Persis, who has worked hard in the Lord. Greet Rufus, chosen in the Lord, and his mother, who was also a mother to me. Greet Asyncritus, Phlegon, Hermes, Patrobas, Hermas, and the brothers and sisters with them. Greet Philogus and Julia. Nereus and his sister Olympus, and all the believers who are with them. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the churches of Christ greet you. Now I urge you, brothers and sisters, to watch out for those who create dissensions and obstacles contrary to the teachings that you learned. Avoid them, for these are the kind who do not serve our Lord Christ, but their own appetites. By their smooth talk and flattery, they deceive the minds of the naive. Your obedience is known to all, and thus I rejoice over you. But I want you to be wise in what is good and innocent in what is evil. 
The God of peace will quickly crush Satan under your feet. The grace of our Lord Jesus be with you. Timothy, my fellow worker, greets you. So does Lucius, Jason, and Sosipater, my compatriots. I, Tertius, who am writing this letter, greet you in the Lord. Gaius, who is host to me into the house of the church, greets you. Erastus, the city treasurer, and our brother Cortus greet you. Now to him who is able to strengthen you according to my gospel and the proclamation of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery that has been kept secret for long ages, but now is disclosed and through the prophetic scriptures has made known to all the nations according to the command of the eternal God to bring about the obedience of faith to the only wise God through Jesus Christ be glory forever. Amen. All right, today we're going to break down all of those names, figure out who those people are. Um, no. Uh, so we just finished Romans. Uh, Paul kind of concludes this chapter, and, and there are a ton of names that we don't understand, and we don't know all of these people. Um, it's, it's pretty cool that he shares so many different names. There's so many people that are part of this young mission of, of getting this gospel out, getting this good news out. And what's cool is the names really denote lots of different types of people. There's men, there's women, there's mothers, there's people who knew Jesus before Paul did. There's Greek names, there's Jewish names. There's kind of names of people from all over the place, which is, is another picture of the unity that's found in Christ. Uh, Paul kind of concludes with some warnings. He's saying, really, uh, avoid the people who are teaching things contrary to what I've taught you. And uh, he wants people to be naive about evil. And, and growing and knowing what is good. And then at the end, he comes back to, the, he has a couple different kind of benedictions, these kind of poetic uh, last good words, but he comes back and has this kind of long benediction. And he mentions again, what he began the book with to bring about the obedience of faith. This book was all about the good news of Jesus and, and the results of that that Paul was sharing this gospel, sharing this message of God's righteousness, of God's faithfulness, and he was doing it all to bring about the obedience of faith so that Jews and Gentiles might come and know him. And so that Jews and Gentiles alike might be a witness to him so that all people might come to know him. So we finished Romans. Here's my challenge for today. Flip through the pages. I, I I could challenge you to read the whole thing again. I just don't think you'll do that today. Um, but flip through. Uh, remember a chapter or two that really stuck out to you. Go back and read it again. Share some of your highlights. That's something we could all do today. Take a few verses, find a few verses that really stuck out to you. Maybe take some time to read them a few times, even consider memorizing them. But then share with us in the, in the comments section below. Tell us as you think through this whole book of Romans, what really hit you, what impacted you, what's sticking with you, what are you trying to remember and keep with you as you go forward in this walk of faith? Thanks, guys. Uh, if you read every single day, let us know that too. Tell us. Maybe we'll send you something. I don't know. We'll come up with prizes someday. Um, but yeah, even if, you, if you've been able to, to check in every day and did that, let us know. We'd love to know and, and hear from you. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. And tomorrow... Darren will be starting a new book.